Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Moon walkthrough. So in the last episode we uh, finished Route 2 and I actually went ahead and did something off screen that I didn't record. So I got one of my friends to go and uh, help me capture some Abras. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So we have managed to grab 17 Abras and if you notice they're all different natures. Uh, the only thing they have in common is they share the same ability of Synchronize. Now the reason I uh, did that is because if you guys are not aware, Synchronize uh, on a Abra, if he's your lead Pokemon, uh, any random Pokemon encounter has a 50% chance of being the same uh, nature as your Synchronized Pokemon if it's at the lead of the party as I said. So because I'm going to be using uh, my in-game team as a competitive team just to see how he goes after I finish the playthrough. Uh, this is a very important part for me so uh, let's go ahead and continue the journey anyway so shout out to my mate who went ahead and did that for me I really appreciate it. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do but we actually need to do the trial now so this is our first trial and I really really don't want to go in with just my Rowlet so I'm gonna go into this grassy area and I need to see what sort of Pokemon are available because I definitely need to add to my party. Uh, so let's see what we have here. And I don't want a cutie fly, that's for sure. So we'll run away from this and we'll just go ahead and just keep uh, just checking out what we have in this grass area. Hopefully, there's something good. And we don't need a Spearow, so I'm going to also run away from that. So let's just hope there is actually something good here. I'm not too sure, but... Let's, um... And a young goose. Uh, probably give that a miss as well, because if I wanted one, I probably would have caught one a lot earlier into the game. We need a maybe like electricity type or a fire type because uh, my Rowlet will evolve into a Decidueye which becomes a dual grass and ghost type. So we pretty much have grass and ghost covered. Uh, we will need to have obviously water type, a electrical type, maybe a fire type would be good as well. Just so we can get some uh, cover, cover all the elements. So. Just gonna keep hunting here, see if we can get something wood. A Growlithe, well there you go. That's actually something I'm gonna uh, add to my team, so... I'm gonna go ahead and capture this one. Uh, however, what I'll do actually, I'm gonna run away from this one. I'm gonna go back to my PC. I'm gonna go grab, uh, buy some more Pokeballs. I'm also going to grab uh, the nature that I want for my Growlithe to be. So I'm actually very happy. I had no idea you can actually uh, catch a Growlithe so early in the game. Uh, I think Arcanine is a fantastic po Pokemon all around. So I'm going to go ahead and buy probably about 30 Pokeballs. And I think, I mean, with Arcanine... He's very versatile. There's actually a few natures that are good. You can get a adamant one, which is very fantastic. Um, you can get a timid one. You can get a modest one. You can even get a jolly one. Uh, but I'm actually going to go ahead and take out my impish uh, Abra. So if you don't know what nature impish is, it's a beneficial nature for defense minus special attack. I'm going to actually use my Arcanine as a defensive wall. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game here. So let's see if we can uh, get a Intimidate Growlithe with the Impish ability and a good character. And a Smurgle is here. I guess that must be the rare in this patch of grass. I think Growlithe might be the uh, uncommon Pokemon. So 
I know this is going to be boring guys, but I really, I mean, I would like to share with you the process of actually capturing the Pokemon. Uh, of getting the right nature, right, right ability, and it's no walk in the park. It's, it's obviously very, uh, very hard to do, and, you know, you gotta grind. It's a lot of grinding, so... If it gets too much, I might just cut the video and edit it later when I have caught it. But I would really like to share it with you guys. So I'm actually excited to hopefully add another member to my team. So we've had Rowlet this whole journey by himself. So definitely, definitely needs a companion. And it seems like we can't even find a Growlithe anymore. And a cutie fly. So it looks like Growlithe has disappeared. Which is a shame because I really, really want a Growlithe. Uh, fire types are probably a great element. They've got uh, great coverage and they resist that. They actually resist a lot of elements as well. And another Spiro. And here we go, a Growlithe. So I'm hoping it's a male. Uh, a male with the Intimidate ability would, would be great. Uh, so it doesn't have Intimidate, I'm going to actually run out because Intimidate is going to be very useful as a defensive wall. So I might cut the video here guys and I'll re-edit it and let you know when I find it. I'm not sure. I might give it a few more goes uh, because it is very hard to set up the camera and try to get good quality uh, recorded from the 3DS. We do have another Growlithe, hopefully it's a male with Intimidate. And it's a male and he has Intimidate and I'm really hoping Synchronize works so we can get that uh, Impish ability. Impish nature, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball and hopefully it won't take too long to capture it. Two, three, and we've caught it. Cool, first go. So it's a male. It has Intimidate. Let's hope it's a Impish Nature with the right character. So I'm not going to name it. And it's going to be added to our Pokedex. So no, no nickname. And add it to our party. Let's really hope it's a Impish Nature. Oh, I'm not going to save the game to share. So let's go ahead and see. So it is an impish nature with intimidate and likes to fight uh, means it's got a better attack. So all in all, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to end the video there guys and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next upload.